Today we are doing a challenge. I'd like to do the speak English one day with me. And let's get started. Uh, my goal today is to speak English for the whole day. I don't aim for perfection or mistake free because mistakes are welcome and expected. <laughs> my cat is so hungry right now. And I'm about to feed him. I already made him the food. I think it'd be fun to, to do this challenge, even though it's, I speak English every day because I'm here in America and uh, try not to put pressure too much on myself to, you know, trying to speak well. <laughs> anyway, I just woke up and my brain isn't really functioning so properly right now. I haven't eaten yet, but I'm getting there. Wanna have fun today and bring you along with me to to show you what I do in a day. Yes, baby boy. My baby boy. Look at my cat, my little kitty boy. Boy, what do you want? Huh? What do you want? Tell mommy what do you want? Speak. Yeah. Each time I feed my boy, I do a little trick with him. And now I am about to make my breakfast. The breakfast that I eat every day is overnight raw oats. I, yeah, I soak the oats with the water. I soaked the oats in the water last night. And now I am putting in the toppings, whatever fruits I have, mostly blueberries or um, apples. Chocolate chips. Granola, cheese seeds, and then mix it all up and then put in some oat milk. I love this oat milk so much. Oh my. Mm. So really good. Now I am about to make coffee. I'll be making coffee for Andrew as well. This is my coffee routine. My espresso home machine. A really good quality, you know, home machine. The brand is um, Breville. I used to drink like coffee latte, so coffee with milk, whether it's latte or cappuccino or flat white. That's why I, you know, pick the machine with the one that I can steam the milk. But now I no longer do. I no longer drink milk. I no longer drink coffee with milk. I just want to say that you're gonna see me talk a lot like while I'm doing things um, today because that's also a form of me practicing you know expressing and describing things in English and you know it helps me practice and improve my improvising skill so I'll be talking a lot just to tell you that today might not be the perfect day to do this kind of challenge at home because there is a leaf blower guys you know coming around the neighborhood to blow leaves they uh, dress like a ghostbuster <laughs> but I'm going in to my uh, to my room now and then start doing my work <laughs> Okay, so now I am doing some work. Today I have um, an appointment with the vet 
So I'm gonna take Fluffy to have the wellness check at 3 p.m. I think. Okay, yeah, 3 p.m. and now it's almost 2. I just wanna take a little bit of time to get some work done. And my routine work for two of my clients these days are giving web support for them. So what I do is um, I got on a website and I updated the tools. You can see now in action. So I actually should track my time first. Okay, all is well. Pause the time. Okay, so I'll be pausing the video and I will get ready for uh, the vet. Okay, so I just get the gas and I'm ready to go to the vet. Have arrived. Okay. Well, are you ready? He is so freaking heavy. Oh my god, boy. I gotta stop feeding you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I'll let the tag on your hair. They'll be in in just a few. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bruce. Hello? How are you feeling? Not good? And we in Roma? Um, sometimes outdoor. I, we, we, took, we take him out sometimes in the park. He goes for walks? Yeah, for walks in the woods. <laughs> he loves the outside, the woods, the grass smell. That's always fun to see. <laughs> I have never taken my cats at home in Thailand to the vet at all. I think my, my parents did. My mom and my aunt. If there's no any seriousness, uh, no injury or anything, then we don't typically take cats to the vet, not even for the yearly basis. But here it's different. We tend to do that because if anything, if anything happens, then it's going to be so expensive. So. We kind of treat our cats like ourselves in terms of wellness check. Love coming? Yes. Love you'll be fine. Just get to see the doctor, okay? You're a big cat. Yeah, and I think I feel like I like it this way better. Like, you know, having a yearly wellness check instead of no checking at all because it ensures a better health and well-being of the cats more than we just go with the flow and don't do anything. that this this thing is still on all the time okay let's head back home and uh, finish our work I just arrived home and I am hungry I am home and I got a new package this is from uh, I'll show you I haven't seen yet how it looked like Oh boy, this is bigger than I thought, but this is way too long because it's probably not made for someone as short as me, but I really like the color and the texture of the fabric. You like it, boy? You think mommy looks good? You think mommy looks good? I'm gonna change up and I will get something to eat. Here is what I'm gonna eat for lunch. So I have this big 
bowl of salad, not a bowl, but yeah, a big container here. You know, I have made it like a few days ago, like about last week or so. We tend to keep this type of salad or a mixed vegetable inside the fridge so that we can eat it with whatever meat or carb or other type of proteins. We can even use this to mix with the instant noodle sometimes or use this as a, you know, mixture for um, just to make a stir fried with some garlic and some soy sauce, oyster sauce, what, whatever. Um, I really like this this routine that we create, you know, both me and Andrew, because we can cut these veggies at once and then keep it for like over a week or even a little bit longer because we have this dryer packs. It's like silica packs that uh, keeps everything dry or as dry as possible, as dry as they're capable of. We can keep this for like a really long time in such a good shape and still preserve, you know, most of the qualities of the fresh vegetable. That's a really simple and easy way to make sure that you have enough vegetable intake or add more vegetable intake for your diet in a, you know, in a way that it saves time. And today for the protein, I am about to eat this fish. So it's a stir-fried um, chorizo, which is I think it's a spicy Italian sausage with um, egg. Put this in a little bit more. So I'm just gonna enjoy my lunch and then we'll go right back to work. Love you. Oh my god, it's so cold out. I think it's like 50 something. The boy's coming. Yeah. Boy? Go for it. <laughs> oh, I see the butt. <laughs> boy, mommy, come back soon, okay? If you want to come out, ask daddy. You want to bring him? He has a carrier. Nah, babe, it's, it's going to get dark like way too soon. Okay. Yeah, we'll bring him another day, boy. It is about 10 degrees Celsius. I hope to get like my standard distance is about three miles and that's like four to five kilometers. <sighs> Not sure if I would reach that, that distance today because it's getting dark so, so quick. But I'll bring you along and We'll see how it goes. I'll show you the the hill that I go there often. Like every time that I run, almost every time. Now I am entering the hill. Snake Hill. beautiful dog. Usually I listen to podcasts while running and there are a few shows that I listen to. One is Stuff You Should Know. So it's just about, you know, random stuff that the hosts talk about, like how it came to be, what it is, why it matters, something like that. So just to learn more new things or relearn about what I learned before or just try to understand the world more. The second show is, uh, well, the second, third, third show is the shows, you know, hosted by Amy Porterfield and Jenny Kutcher. And these two are, you know, expert marketers. They have podcasts, they are entrepreneurs, they have the whole online business, online course that I really admire and that I am using some of the training, some of the system to you know apply with my business too. So I love them both. They're great, they're inspiring. Another show I like to listen to is 
the morning brew daily so basically news so so that I you know catch up on news and what's going on in the world each day and that's the main shows that I normally listen to while running I'll get back to running now and have you enjoyed the view just reach the end of the the hill route and I'm about to go, go back and hopefully come back here again for the second time second round you can see that it's almost dark now like and it's cold luckily there's no rain yet but I'm ready if there is Wish me best. Here, it's me. You can see I am so sweating right now. And um, luckily it's not, it didn't rain that much. It's just like drizzling. Okay, so we'll see you inside. And for our dinner, yeah, I kind of have basically the similar thing that I had for lunch. But I just added up, you know, mm -hmm. add a chicken in, Rice which veggies. is nice. Rice, veggies, I got some tree zone eggs. One special thing is I have this spicy sauce made by my aunt who lives in Renton, like a town ne next to us. And it's so freaking amazing. Everything she makes is good. Okay, so we're gonna enjoy dinner. And after mm -hmm. that, we we'll just go back to work. Well, I'm about to go to bed and I'll do some bedtime routine. I am having a um, retainers on, so my T's are. That's why I can't really pronounce things properly, just in case you wonder. I'll write uh, my to do list for tomorrow. And I also write a um, journal. I finished writing journal for tonight and I am going to bed and that is it for today I hope you enjoy what I brought you along and what I was doing throughout the day for those who stick around to the end thank you so much I hope you learned something new um, from me and I hope that this clip inspires you to speak more make more mistakes and give yourself some grace all right so good night 